Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is Ulan Gaming, and we're doing another Civilization overview. Don't think just because I've been playing Elden Ring, I'm giving up on this project. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish it, guys. Uh, so, as you can see, we are using another stock photo for the flag. This is uh, the first of the flags where I said, nope, don't really feel like making it, and I just entered full lazy modes. So there you go. Uh, so, in terms of unique mechanics, Britain really only has one, and that's the, the manor houses. So, Britain houses uh, cost extra. Uh, they cost 145, I believe, after the February patch. Uh, and they do the same thing as a normal house, but they also spawn a villager when they are created, uh, which goes straight into Brit Great Britain's basic playstyle, which is the, uh, the boom. Uh, Britain loves to boom, Britain players love to boom. Uh, that's not all they can do, but it is very easy for them to transition any strategy they do into a boom. Uh, because they basically just have to build houses, which they have to do anyways for any strategy in the game. Uh, so, Great Britain is a very easy civilization to get into. It's very simple. Uh, that's why you see this page is rather lackluster. It's not because I'm putting less effort into it, because I'm focusing on Eldering. It's because Great Britain is lesser in terms of uniqueness and uh, specific mechanics than other civilizations. It is a very good civilization. It is fantastic at what it does, uh, and it does have variety, but all of its variety is based around the boom. Uh, and it's it, it, it's a very easy boom to get the hang of as well, because like I said, you just chop wood and build houses and there's not much more to it than that. Uh, as for their general, uh, as for their age up system and heroes, they do have politicians and the explorer. Like I said, they are kind of the base civilization besides Spain. Uh, and they have unique units. Uh, they have two unique units. Uh, they have the rockets and the uh, longbowmen. Now, an honorable mention here is the musketeer, which also should be here with a red square around it. Uh, musketeers are the are, are the crux and center of the Great Britain uh, inf infantry, uh, just because they don't have a fantastic skirm and goon combo. And they have uh, Royal Guard Musketeers, as well as access to our first unique unit. We're going to talk about the Rocket. The Rocket is literally just a better heavy cannon. Uh, it's fantastic in every which way. Uh, it has a humongous amount of splash, range, and damage, and it doesn't even have negative multipliers against cavalry. Uh, so the Rockets are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and if you have enough of them, it doesn't matter what your opponent throws at your rockets, your rockets will basically come out on top every time unless they are literally spamming culverins. Uh, their other unique unit is the Longbowman. Now, the Longbowman does not have a red square, but that does not mean that the Longbowman is bad, because most of Britain's units, in fact, all of British, uh, Britain's units, I would say, are actually very good just across the board, except for, like, their pikemen, obviously. Uh, but you can still use pikemen, but, uh... Longbowmen uh, are skirmisher types. They have very high damage and very high range, uh, but they also have the uh, downside of having very poor animations where they have to do the complete draw of their bow before they fire and having low multipliers. So they are kind of like skirmishers that are good at everything. They're kind of like all-rounder skirmishers rather than specialized skirmishers, which is what not generally what you want. You, generally in a skirmisher, you want specialization. You want them to be really, really good at taking down heavy infantry because that's what people are going to spam a lot of the time. Um... Now, you can absolutely go with the pure longbow strat, and as long as you have some kind of anti-cav to protect your troops, you'll usually be able to get away with it. Uh, and in fact, pure longbow can give you just some absolutely ludicrous damage numbers. Uh, but I wouldn't say it's their best unit they have access to. Their best units are... Their best units in terms of the most ideal unit composition, in terms of uh, complementing each other, are the uh, rocket and the musketeer. Uh, for primary unit composition, you will usually either see musket a musketeer cannon or a musketeer longbow, and uh, for, for, for very obvious reasons. Those are both very strong unit compositions, especially musk cannon. Uh, and because the, uh, the, the the longbow does not... Because of the longbow's issues with its animation, it doesn't make it the most ideal thing to, go, to make a skirm goon combo with. Uh, as for things to watch out for with Great Britain... Specifically, you want to watch out for cavalry masses. Now, it is not in their primary unit compositions, but Great Britain have very strong cavalry. Uh, they have Royal Guard Hussars, and they have plenty of upgrade cards for said Hussars. Uh, 
uh, and it is, and with the uh, economic powerhouse that is Great Britain, it is something that you do need to keep in the back of your head and make sure you look at your opponent's deck for, is to see whether or not they're doing a Hussar start and you need to swap unit types ASAP. Uh, because a Britain Hussar mass is no joke and it can, if it catches you off guard, then it will probably cost you the game. Uh, and then scouting houses. So there are generally two types of Great Britain players. There's the Great Britain, uh, Britain players who make all of their houses in a defensive cluster around their base to form walls, essentially. And then there's the type of Great Britain player who sends their villagers in all directions and make houses on every single spot on the map so that they have a ton of line of sight. And it makes it very difficult to avoid their line of sight and they always know where your military is coming from. 99% uh, of the time, uh, the, I'd say a good 80% of the time, uh, the, the, the Great Britain players who build their houses everywhere around the map are generally more skilled than the Great Britain players who build their houses all in base. So if you see forward houses from, a Great, from Great Britain, it can often be a sign that you're dealing with somebody who really knows what they are doing, and you're going to have to step your game up. Uh, but I mean, really, this is probably one of the shortest civilization overviews we've had so far, just because Great Britain is is simple. They're simple and effective, and that's what they that that's that that's their slogan: simple but effective. Uh, and with that out of the way, thank you guys very much for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great day and goodbye.